Engo patches are made of PTFE, which is polytetrafluoroethylene, which is the slippy surfaced material that reduces friction. Heel patches. These have a longer edge which fits the top side of the heel area of the shoe and are designed to help prevent blisters at the back of the heel. Start by rubbing the patch with your fingers. Peel the backing off and hold in your fingers before the placement of the patch. Place the index finger in the middle of the patch, securing the centre first to the back of the shoe and then smoothing the edges of the patch into place. Use a hairdryer to warm the patch up to increase the adhesiveness and leave the patch preferably for 24 hours and use a shoehorn to increase the longevity of the patch. Love Your Heels Blister Pack contains two white heel patches with two small ovals which are perfect for casual shoes or sandals. Start by rubbing the patch with your fingers, peel the backing off and hold in your fingers before the placement of the patch. Placing your index finger in the middle of the patch and securing the centre to the back of the shoe, smoothing the edges the patch into place. Use a hairdryer to warm the patch up to increase the adhesiveness and leave the patch for 24 hours and use a shoehorn to increase the longevity of the patch. On these light fashion shoes, the raised edges on this label on the shoe will cause blisters. Rub a small white oval patch, warm it up, peel the backing off and place over the label. Oval patches which come in packs of two small ovals and four large ovals. If blisters are on the arch of the foot then pen mark the spot on the insole. Remove the insole and place an engo patch on the marked area. Place the insole back into the shoe and then mark the area of the shoe that corresponds to the patch. Mark it with the pen, remove the insole and place another oval patch and place it into the shoe, preventing creasing. The patches should marry up and together reduce friction applied to the arch of the foot. The oval patches can be placed where the balls of the feet are located onto the insole and also be used on poor insoles too. If the toes are getting blisters on the tops of them, then placing an oval patch on the top of the inside of the shoe, which helps the toes glide over the patches, reducing the friction on them. Rectangular patches can cover large areas of the insole around the toe area, 